Yo, what's up guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another gig log. This one is going to be a little bit challenging. I just printed off the paperwork right here, but that is not the challenging part. The challenging part is my assistant for the day. So today is Sunday and just logistics have not worked out and I've had two roadies now cancel on me. I might have one, my buddy Gabe might be showing up to just help me out a little bit, basically when the wedding starts, but he won't be able to help me load up or set up. So I do actually just want to kind of put this out there right now. Fusion Sound and Lighting, my company, Fusion Sound and Lighting, we are hiring technically. We are hiring roadies. We need roadies. So if you live in the North Carolina region, I am based in Greensboro, North Carolina, but we do a lot of weddings in Raleigh and in Charlotte. If you're in this region and you are a younger aspiring DJ, that's what I'm kind of looking for. You don't have to have any training. You don't have to have any knowledge, but if you watch my videos and you want to become a DJ, the best way to do it is to become a roadie for a multi-up company like myself. So uh, we're basically looking for DJs. We're looking for people that want to become DJs and want to become roadies so my email is listed down below if you know anyone or you are one of those younger aspiring DJs that wants to become a DJ and you want to get into this get your foot in the door and start out as a roadie hit me up we're looking for roadies we have like 25 more weddings still in 2020 to do so we need roadies and we're gonna need a lot in 2021 because we have a lot of big things lined up for the company on another note today's wedding is actually going to be pretty big in terms of what we're doing we got a lot of up lighting we got some twinkle drape that we're gonna be doing we have some some dance floor wash lighting. We're bringing out the turntable booth. We got a lot of cool stuff we're gonna be doing today. I'm really excited about that. But one other thing I wanted to show you guys, and I haven't really shown it on the gig logs yet, because I'm making a whole video. I might have already made the video on this by the time this gig logs get posted, but I'm not really sure. So if you guys didn't see that video or if I haven't posted it, it's coming. Request now. It's a, uh, it's a request software. It's a web-based software that you can use that allows you to get requests at events. And this is super helpful for the current uh, like COVID situation and all that. And the nice part is they generate a phone number for you. So you don't have to give out your personal phone number to get requests. And the cool part about it is it's got like integrations built into it to help you with your business. So at events, you basically tell guests to text their song request to this certain phone number that they give you. Those song requests show up in your little like request now browser. I don't have it live yet. I'll show you guys at the event, but the requests come in there. And then at the end of the event, there is a thank you button you can hit. And basically that sends a text message to every Every single one of the guests that have sent you a song request that night it's a pre-made message so you set up your pre-made message in there like today's wedding for instance I wrote a little thank you message that says on behalf of Rebecca and Terry I want to thank you guys for so much for coming out and celebrating with them this evening and then it just literally at the bottom I just put DJ Rick Webb at DJ Rick Webb on Instagram FusionSoundLighting.com. Very clever way to kind of non-forcefully put your like information out there, your contact information. It's just very slight and very sly and it's it's a really good way to do it. And also the whole like texting request keeps people from you and the DJ booth and all that stuff. So this is huge for the current time. So I highly recommend, I'll link get down below. If you guys are not already on request now or you haven't looked into it, check it out. I believe they give you one free event to give it a trial run. So check it out, give it a try at maybe your next wedding when you ever you get back to weddings. I hope you guys are back doing weddings by now. We've been doing it for, I don't know, like five, six weeks now, so. Anyways, let's get onto the gig log and let's load up the trailer with all the awesome gear. Here's all the gear we're bringing. Got everything loaded up on the carts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything on wheels. Wheels make life amazing. And that right there is everything loaded up for today's wedding. As you can see, we're taking quite a bit of stuff out to this wedding. Like I mentioned, we're doing quite a bit. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my uh, personal bags upstairs, my planning forms, all that stuff. Vibo is where I do all my planning forms. If anybody's wondering, I have plenty of videos on that, but a uh, little shout out right there, Vibo makes your life so much easier, especially when you're doing music. I need to make a whole video on this, but like on the Vibo planning app, when the couple select all their music, there's this cool scanning feature where it scans your library. And when you wanna create your playlist, say like, the Last night they had 111 open dancing requests. All I did was in Vibo, I clicked locate files. It went through, it gave me the top results. I just went through and made sure they were correct. I clicked generate playlist and boom, I had all of the 111 open dancing requests already in a playlist ready to go. I didn't have to like go through and search for each one of them. Saves you so much time. I got all the jetpack bags in the back, got the fit in the back and we are ready to go. Let's get on the road to the wedding. Welcome to the depot 
at Cody Creek. Can't remember the town we're in, but up here is the chapel where they're getting married. And then this is a big complex, but there's a giant restaurant over there, restaurant slash bar. There's this little gazebo. And then on the other side, there's the conference center. And then up on the hill, there's the mansion. But they got like all kinds of olden, you can kind of see it over there, like cars. And like, this is a really, really popular restaurant, but this is the chapel that they have on, pre on premise where they're getting married. What's the odds that this is unlocked? It is not unlocked. So now I put on my mask and I go see who I can find that can unlock this for me. They got this cool covered bridge over here. Got a little, looks like a C5 Corvette pulling up. But that's like how people get down into here the normal way. Dope little C5. Walking over to the conference center now. Apparently someone's over here that'll hopefully have a key to be able to unlock the, uh, the chapel. Because I want to set up my stuff in the chapel first before I head over here. What the hell are these bugs? You guys see these things flying everywhere? Anyways, hopefully someone has a key. Oh, so they uh, they walk from the chapel up this little like cool ramp. This place is amazing. I got I gotta tell you, like there's the creek. This is like a hidden gem up here in like Northwest North Carolina. It's crazy. There's so much stuff built out here. But they got like all these handmade tables. This is all like handmade too. And then they got this giant conference center. This is normally a waterfall that go on. They have like this cool deck patio area. And then inside, it's all like hand wood made and everything is so cool. I'll show you guys more detail inside later but you can just barely see it up there on the hillside but let me tell you maybe i'll unhook the trailer here later and go up there and show you but that thing is a mansion and it's so cool because it's like everything's like the wooden olden style here it's so cool and rustic and like it's all handmade like it's it's i'm an engineer if you guys didn't know and uh I marvel at stuff like this. Like it's all hand construction, hand built. It's immaculate and crazy to see just handmade structures and stuff. It, it always blows my mind. I mean, look at that chapel here from a distance, like all hand built with stonework and uh, the wood and it's, it's awesome. Then you got the dope truck just chilling over here looking good. You know, I didn't really take into consideration the steps to get up into the chapel because we had 20 feet of pipe and drape up here, up lighting and the ceremony set up like normal. So it's a lot of stairs. Nice. Who the AC is on. Thank God. All right. So this is the chapel, and I like I can't explain it, but it literally smells like pie in here. Can you just like look at the detail of the woodwork and the stonework? It's crazy. So we're putting pipe and drape up on either side here with twinkle lights, and then we're doing uplighting all the way around this place. We do have to unscrew this bulb right here. I remember discussing that, and we haven't done it yet. So that bulb needs unscrewed so that this is not lighting up. Cool. And then we're gonna set up back here, and we're doing some cool stuff with the uplighting. It's all gonna be amber to start. And then they have this cool little water ceremony i'll try and get some footage of it but they're gonna be pouring like red and blue water together and it's going to turn purple and we're going to fade the up lighting down and then i'm going to fade it back up as purple so the whole room is going to turn purple once they're married it's going to be cool so little little touches like that little customized touches like that is what i love to do at weddings i love just the customization that's what we do fusion sound lighting we're all about customization and doing very personal stuff no cookie cutter average dj wedding service bull crap over here let's go All right, I'm not gonna lie, that took way too long. It's two o'clock. I'm not panicking, but I'm panicking. I really hate not having a roadie right now. I really hate not having a roadie. Anxiety is getting the best of me right now. I am not gonna lie. I am extremely terrified. All right, pushing the final load in right now. Today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share with, grow with, change with, be joyful with, make an elastic commitment to share the rest of your lives with one another. authority invested by me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Everyone have a good time? Everyone have a good time? I want to welcome you all one more time to Rebecca and Terry's wedding reception. If you guys are here to party and have some good time tonight, let me hear some noise for our newlyweds out there. Let me hear a little noise. Huh? Oh, there we go. Rebecca and Terry Riggins. Rebecca and Terry here are going to be doing a very, very special dance. 
It is their little Victorian dance. Give it, give it, make some noise, make some noise. All right. Not gonna lie, doing solo introductions, especially when there's a different song for each group, is not the easiest thing in the world when you're used to having someone DJ it for you. But anyways, as you guys, uh, I, I haven't talked to you guys since uh, ceremony. And I got everything set up, basically. We got it all worked out. My boy Gabe's here finally, so I'm chill. We're good to go. But uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a rush. But they didn't notice, that's the key. The key is that they don't notice I'm rushing. But I was definitely rushing. I mean, I was, I was sprinting. I set up the whole entire reception in like 30 minutes. Anyways, dinner's going on, which means I finally get a break. I'm gonna take Gabe over to the ceremony. Show him how to tear down the ceremony. All right, Drake, D Drake, Jesus Christ. I miss Drake so much. Yeah, being Sunday, uh, Drake couldn't make it because um, it actually is his dad's birthday and I wasn't gonna pull him away from it like his dad's birthday. That's just like, I don't know, just like bonding time, I don't know. Anyways, Gabe was going to be here for the whole entire thing. He was supposed to leave with me. Um, but he ran into an issue at work where he works, which is also where I work, like a big issue. And he just finally got here, which honestly, I pulled it off. Pulled it off so far. He'll break that down. All I got left now is a uh, toast and first dance, bouquet, garter, easy stuff, easy stuff. The hardest part is a uh, ceremony and grand introduction by far. If anybody tells you different, they're lying. Let's go inside where there's AC. Check out this waterfall. And that is the gig log. I'm wrapping this up at a very later date because um, I forgot to film an outro as always. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gig log. If you did, be sure to slap a like, leave down in the comment section down below. But before I end this video, I do want to let you guys know that I am running a super sale on everything that is left on DJ Life Clothing on shopdjlife.com. So this is the last little bit of things that are left from the summer drop. Everything is extremely discounted right now, so go cop yourself some. This is all I got left right here. Got two small shirts left. The All I Play is Fire and Gray Good Vibes Only. We have one 3XL of the Good Vibes Only. We have one XL of your girlfriend's favorite DJ. We have an extreme selection of two XLs right now. For some reason, I ordered way too many two XLs, so we have two of the your girl's favorite DJs, one of the All I Play is Fire and Gray. We got four of the blue All I Play is Fire. In 2XL and we got three of the good vibes only so if you guys wear a 2XL go check them out extremely discounted right now I still have quite a bit of face mask left believe it or not I had three times as many as what are here right now you guys have been buying them like crazy I still have at least 50 more to sell and I got them on an extreme discount right now and then I also have the limited edition water bottles so these right here are the limited edition water bottles there's only 20 that they ever made they're on the site right now Go check them out, I discount them as well. And of course, anything you order on the site right now comes with a free koozie, a good vibes only koozie. So go check it out, go cop yourself some merch, go cop yourself a face mask, maybe a water bottle, and you'll get a free koozie with it as well. Thank you guys so much as always for the support on the channel and the support on the DJ Life clothing. I'm working on the winter drop. I'm getting super excited for that right now. So I'm working on the new designs. This is limited edition stuff right here. So if you guys buy this, that design's never coming back. Um, so go cop what you can while it lasts and the winter designs will be coming hopefully here towards the end of October I'll be announcing that as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Did you guys know that 60% of you guys are not subscribed right now? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking with you guys, but really 60% of you are not subscribed. That's actually kind of crazy But anyways like comment subscribe post notifications all that good stuff and like always guys keep the record spinning And I will see you guys next time with another awesome video. Peace